The Max Lens mod on the GoPro Hero 10 is finally here. You want to know what else is here? A rainstorm. Don't worry about that intro. That's not actually how the Max Lens mod looks. That's just me popping on the lens without it in Max Lens mod mode so that you can see what it looks like and so that you can see what you don't want to do. When you put that Max Lens mod on, always make sure you're using it in Max Lens mod mode. So the first thing to know right away, this firmware update that enables you to get the Max Lens mod working on the Hero 10, it is beta firmware. Now I know there's that stigma with beta firmware where you may think that means that there's gonna be a lot of things that are broken, uh, a lot of bugs in that. I've tested out beta firmware on my GoPros in the past and I've not had any problems. And to be fair, sometimes the actual firmware updates that get pushed out by GoPro have had some issues as well. But the important thing to know about the beta firmware is you cannot get it through the Quick App like you can get the normal firmware updates. You do have to go to a special website and you do have to download the firmware and manually install it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do that. First thing you wanna do is you wanna get the link in the top of the description below. That link will take you directly to the website where you can get the firmware update. And once you're at that website, three paragraphs down, you're gonna see the sentence that says, please download the firmware here. You're gonna click on that link where it says here, and it's going to proceed to download the firmware. Once that file is finished downloading, you're gonna to navigate to your downloads folder and extract that beta AFW release.zip folder. Now, once that folder has finished extracting, you're gonna need a couple other things. First thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need your micro SD card from your GoPro Hero 10. You're also gonna need a SD card adapter if you have an SD card slot on your computer. Or if you have a micro SD card slot, you can pop in the card directly and that's fine. Uh, if you don't have one of these to go with the micro SD, then you may need the USB version where you can put a micro SD card into a USB. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna insert that card into your computer. Once you've inserted your micro SD card on the adapter, you're gonna go to the folder that you extracted. And when you open it, you're gonna see update.zip you're also going to extract that folder. Now, if you've done the manual update for GoPro before, normally you would right click and you would copy this update folder to the micro SD card, but that's not the case with this one. And that's what I wanted to point out. There's actually a couple levels down in this folder where the actual update folder is that you need to copy over. So you're gonna double click on the update folder and on the next screen, you're gonna see underscore Mac OS X and you're gonna see update. So if you do have an Apple device, you're going to double click on that Mac OS X and then you're going to right click on that update folder and then you're gonna copy that to the micro SD card. Now make sure you copy the update folder and not the update file. If you have a Windows device, you're going to right click and copy that update folder that's right below the underscore Mac OS X folder. You're gonna copy that and you're gonna to navigate to your micro SD card. You're then gonna click paste. Once that update folder has finished pasting to the card, you're gonna pull the card out of your computer and you're gonna pop it back into your Hero 10. Next step you're gonna take is you're gonna power on the Hero 10 Black. And what it should do right away is it should start installing the update. I recorded the different stages of this update so you could see what it looks like. It does take a couple minutes to install and you'll see a blue cog on the back of the GoPro and on the front display. But then when it enters the next step, your back display is going to be blank, kind of a grayish color, and your front display is gonna have the blue cog on it. And finally, for the last stage, it's going to show the cogs again, and it's going to say that the update has finished. It's gonna reboot one more time, and then it's gonna come back to your normal boot up screen. Once that happens, you'll know the firmware has installed successfully. Once you've installed the firmware, you're gonna now be able to connect the Max Lens Mod to your Hero 10 Black. If you're new to the Max Lens Mod and you haven't used it before, I'm gonna show you how to attach it to your Hero 10 Black. So this lens right here is of course removable. And what you have to do is you have to pull out a little bit on it and twist a quarter turn and it's gonna pull right off. It's actually, it's tricky doing it the first time, but once you've done it, it's a piece of cake after that. Next, you're gonna get out your Max Lens Mod here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna line this up and you'll notice, you'll notice there is a pattern here on the back of the Max Lens Mod. That does correspond to the pattern on here. So when you first start putting it on, you wanna make sure those line up, and then you're gonna twist it a quarter turn. And after you twist it a quarter turn, 
It should be all attached. Make sure there's no gap here between the lens cover and the camera. So once you've got the Max Lens Mod on there, what you can do is you can power on the GoPro. And in order to enable the Max Lens Mod, you're gonna swipe down here. You're gonna see eight icons on the screen. The one you wanna select for the Max Lens Mod is in the lower right. You just wanna click on that. It's gonna go from gray to blue, and it's gonna say Max Lens Mode Enabled. Once you've enabled it, you can click here where it says Max Video. And it's gonna, of course, max out at 2.7K, 60 frames per second. Once you're into the max video mode here, you're gonna see uh, your normal options here. But under the resolution and frame rate, you're of course gonna be limited to the 2.7K or the 2.7K 4x3. And the highest frame rate you can go in the 2.7K is 60, and the lowest you can go right now is 30. That 24 frames per second is gonna be added later on by GoPro, probably in the December 10th firmware update. You of course can also use 1080p mode, with the Max Lens Mod. But I recommend using 2.7K because that's gonna give you the highest resolution. Some other settings here, you do have a couple options with lens. You can do Max Lens Super View, or you can do Wide. Recommend keeping it Super View. It's gonna give you the best results. The important feature here is the Horizon Lock. If you wanna have that Horizon Locked in Level, you wanna have this set to On. If you don't want the Horizon Locked in Level, you're gonna turn it off. In general, you're probably gonna want it on. And then going down here to the ProTune settings, I definitely recommend setting that bit rate to high. Shutter can be kept at auto. EV comp can be negative 0.5. White balance, I recommend 5,000K if you're gonna be outside in normal daylight shoot. For the ISO min, I recommend 100. For the ISO max, I recommend 800. For the sharpness, I recommend either low or medium. High is too sharp, so I do not recommend setting it to high. And for color, that's gonna be entirely up to you. If you want that bright, vibrant, highly saturated GoPro color, you're gonna to wanna to set it to vibrant. If you want kind of a real-to-life color, you're gonna pick natural. And if you want flat so that you can heavily color correct later on, you're gonna select flat. Raw audio, I'm gonna leave off, and wind, I'm gonna leave at auto. And if I'm gonna connect an external mic, these options won't apply anyway. But if I'm not connecting an external mic, those are the options I keep it set at. I'm gonna switch back out of Max Lens Mod mode so I can briefly show you the other features GoPro added. So like I mentioned, in 5.3K mode, you can now go to Super View for the lens. Now that's gonna look funny right now because I have the Max Lens Mod on here. But if I take it off, put on the normal lens, it's gonna look a lot better. And yes, you now have the 24 frames per second available in 5.3K, uh, so that's nice to have that there now. If you're using the 4x3, you also have the 24 frames per second available there now with the 5K 4x3. 4K 4x3, same deal. You now have the 24 frames per second available. And the 4K mode that already had the 24 frames per second available, so nothing has changed there. But the 1080p mode, it now also has the 24 frames per second available. So it's exciting to finally have that Max Lens Mod working on the Hero 10. If you haven't used the Max Lens Mod before, I recommend picking one up. It's worth trying out. If you are a GoPro subscriber, you will get a discount on this. When that next firmware update comes in a couple weeks, I'm excited to see some of the bug fixes that GoPro will be pushing with that as well. I believe one of them is going to be when you have the camera plugged in without a battery. The screen will go black when you're recording. I've seen this before for a uh, night lapse when I have it plugged into the power pack. So it'll be nice to be able to see what's on the screen and know that it's actually working. If you found this video to be helpful, please slam that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe and bell notification button and you'll be notified every time I publish a new video. Until we talk again, happy Max Lens modding on the GoPro Hero 10.